Hey guys, it is Kuda Crochet and I'm back with the Amazon haul. It's small and I'm also going to be doing, uh, trying a product with you guys, see if it, how well it works and stuff because this is my first time buying this type of product because I really need it. <laughs> really, really need it. So let's get this started. <clears throat> so, like I said, I bought more and I'm really happy about this I love the size I was kind of worried about the size because uh, a lot of times like on Aliexpress Sheen um, even wish app the because everything is like in millimeters so I would have to like Google <laughs> like how long is it in inches and stuff like that and sometimes when you see the numbers it does it just doesn't I try to imagine and it's like okay I think this, I think this is gonna be the perfect size maybe but this really made me happy this is way bigger than the one that I bought in um, Sheen so I got two of these for about $13 on Amazon of all the products that I show you guys in this video, I will definitely put links um, to them. So, this is the one that we bought. I mean, I bought on Sheen. And you, you can see the, the size. Like, hold on. Let me do it this way. Look at the size comparison, guys. Like, such a big, big difference. Um... I'm gonna measure the big one for you guys. I don't think I measured the small one, but let me, actually, let me do the small one first in case that's, maybe you'd rather start with a small one. Okay, so it is about eight and a half in length and about four inches in width. So that's a that's a nice size for a small bag. This one here Oh, wrong side. is about It's a little bit more than 11 and a half, probably 11.75 inches in length and it is six inches in width. So that's the size of this. Really, really nice size for a, a big backpack if you want. I, Cause I, I actually compared the bottom of my last backpack to this and the width is about the same, but the length, this is about an inch longer. So this is like the perfect size for a regular size backpack. But yeah, bought two of those on Amazon for 13 bucks. So let's get into the yarn. This is, <laughs> I swear this is the last time I'm gonna buy yarn. Now these are all Lion Brand yarns. I know Lion Brand had a huge sale on buy two, get one free. I was so, I really wanted to, but I told myself, no, nope, no. Nope. And you know what happens? I end up buying more yarn from Amazon when I could have just bought these during the sale and get like two of them for free never gonna make that mistake again <laughs> okay so now th these are one of my favorite cotton brand that i like to use in my projects i i definitely know the the lime brand 24 7 cotton would be really really good for bags uh, because it's 100% mercerized and it's a nice thickness. It's a medium four. This is actually the dragonfly color. So it has like a teal color, which I love. And it is 3.5 ounces, 100 grams, 186 yards or 170 meters. Now, Amazon had their own little sale kind of five percent off 
Now, if some of you don't know, there are, it, <laughs> I'm sure some of you do, but sometimes what I've noticed on Amazon, if you like click on a product and then like right below it, it'll say like, say 5% if you buy four items from their list, you click on it, that link, and it gives you a list of products that is under that um, save 5% or save whatever. Because even with books, like, um, I think last year or in 2020, actually, they had a sale on books where if you bought two, you get one for free or something like that. So I sometimes look out for that on Amazon. Now, 5% is nothing. I only save like a book on all these Lion Brand yarns that I bought. But that's what made me... <laughs> That's what made me buy more yarn because I was like, when I looked at the list of yarns, I was like, oh my gosh, these are all Lion Brand yarns. So I was like, let me, let me just grab some. But yeah, that, this is the 24-7 uh, cotton, 100% mercerized yarn. Bought three of those. So this is my first time buying this brand of yarn from line brand because when I saw this on the website I fell in love with it but they charge I think $6.99 I think that's the regular price for this but I paid the same price <laughs> on Amazon I think I think these are $6.99 per ball this is date night okay or date nights plural um it has glitter in it it's so beautiful. It's 3.5 ounces, 100 grams, 273 yards, 250 meters, 82% acrylic, 18% polyester. It's a medium four. Um, it feels okay. So I, I definitely want to experiment with this because this is really, really pretty. I only got one of these. This is called Barrel. And then I bought another one, but different color. So this one is called Lapis. It's a nice blue color with, I think it's silver. No, it's not. Yeah, it's silver. So the other one had gold. This one has silver in it. So it's really pretty. Because I really want to collect more of these type of yarns where it has those glitter strands in it I don't know how else to say because <laughs> it's it's so pretty it's really really pretty so I uh, can't wait to experiment with these so that's all the yarn that I bought so getting into more non yarn products um, I bought a bag of these fluff balls I'll open one or I'll take one out uh, you get a pack of 20 for like nine bucks which is such a good deal um of course they're fall fur let's take this pink one out it's so pretty so it feels really nice and look how pretty this pink one is so you get like browns there's one red one i see a white there's um black there's a couple of pinks, so there's the red one. So a, a nice variety of these pom-poms or whatever. Yeah, I think they're called pom-poms. So I bought this for the beanie that I'm making for my supervisor. I think I might go with this one, actually. I think it'll, it'll go well with the hat or the beanie. But it feels really nice. It's fall fur. And it. I think there's directions on how you can take care, you know, make it more fluffy or whatever. Um, I like that there is a little strap on the bottom. It's kind of hard to. Yeah, there's like a white strap on the bottom. Because I saw this technique in one of the um, videos that I was watching when I was trying to make a beanie. Where you add a button in the middle of the hat inside and then you put this on. And when it's time for them to wash it, they can just, you know, take it off the button and then wash it, wash the beanie. So <laughs> I 
I hope I do it correctly on because it'll be my first time doing this method because I prefer this over the yarn pom-poms I just I know there's tools to make those but I just I just prefer this because it's a lot cuter so um, we'll see how the beanie turns out and which one I actually do pick okay so this is the last product that I bought on Amazon now this is the knit picks ball winder and guys I'm telling you I really I didn't plan to buy a ball winder this soon okay this is the product that we're gonna test out in this video because this is 20 bucks on Amazon and there is one that's about 33 32 dollars that's a lot better from what I was reading the reviews but I just I cannot spend any more money I just can't so I rather just save money and take my chances on this one because it still had like four and a half out of five stars from a lot of reviews um, I think the number one thing I read a lot on was how the size of the ball after you wind it like people were not liking the amount of yarn that you're able to put in that ball I don't know something like that but um let me start putting this together and we're gonna test it out okay so I'll be oops I'll be right back with you guys okay so I can't fully uh, set this up because my table is too thick for this part but I do like the directions on the side of the box it is clear it's understandable so this piece here is understandable on how to put it together with this and it helps to uh, stabilize it on your table but like I said my table is way too thick so I cannot do that so I just started winding it uh, you put the thread through you put the thread the beginning thread on top of these slits here and it works really nice so let me start winding it for you guys so it, it works really really nice so I really love this now if you're curious this is the Karen Pantone yarn <laughs> and I will do a video review on that yarn and what I made with the yarns with it but I this is that's the reason why I needed this because of that mess so I really love this product for 20 bucks it's a good deal it works for me uh, so far I haven't had any um, problems but of course I need to uh, manage this part here <laughs> so anyways that's how it works it works nicely for 20 bucks it's worth the money if you need to get a yarn winder yourself so that's uh, pretty much it for the Amazon stuff that I bought like I said before I will put links to all the products in the description box and I decided last night because um, I'm not gonna reverse the camera <laughs> because then I would have to adjust this little gadget here <laughs> so I'm just gonna show you um, let me move this out of the way for a bit so I bought this from Shein I'll put a link on this as well it's a very small bag but I like the way they designed the strap and I'm thinking of doing a challenge on this a crochet challenge so make a crochet version of this but I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger this is like I think three or four dollars on Shein so that's why it's so small but I love I'm one of those people that I don't like to carry a lot of stuff especially if I'm just gonna go grocery shopping or you know do something small you know nothing really I'm not traveling or anything so um, I do want to make a crochet version of this using the Halloween yarn so I'm hoping this Halloween yarn is gonna be enough to make a full bag of this but I do need to buy extra tools to uh, make the bag look like this because I don't think I'm gonna crochet the strap this time I do want to add nylon straps to um, The one I'm gonna be making for this so 
that's going to be the next challenge. And if it's successful, I will probably do a pattern, written pattern on that and a video. But oh, before I forget, I will be coming out with that last tutorial. I know I haven't posted the written pattern for that. Um, I'm still working on it because <laughs> I hate written patterns. Um, so I'm doing my best to try and complete that. I really, really want to get that up for you guys because I know some of you rather have both to have or you're more of like a written pattern person. But anyways, that's pretty much it for this video. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.